I'm Total Monkey. Today you and I are going to discuss some lockpick guns from lockpicks.com. We will talk about their machine gun or BPG-25, the BPG-15, and the BPG-10. We are going to cover everything that comes with them, how well they are made, different uses or purposes for them, and finally how to use them. Let's go ahead and get started with the BPG-10 lock picking gun. It comes with the lock picking gun itself, one standard pick needle, and three replacement pick needles, one double ended tension wrench, the instruction sheet, and also the warranty card. The BPG-10 has a solid steel frame and mechanisms like the trigger and where the actual needle goes. To insert a needle, you simply unscrew this screw right here, which is a, the needle tension screw if you will. Place your needle in there, make sure the curved side is down, which is the same for the BPG-25, but the BPG-15 is opposite for the way the action works. The reason for this is because the BPG-10 and 25 action goes upwards, where the BPG-15 action goes downwards, which you can tell here in the BPG-10 how the way when I pull the trigger, the action of the needle is smacking up. Now let's talk about the BPG-25. It comes in this awesome blue case that is uh, kind of has a foam cutout just for it. And then you have a nice little vial or little can canister here with all the various parts. It has about 15 various needles and tension wrenches for different purposes or different uses, as you can see here in the video. What makes the BPG-25 special, or also known as the machine gun, is a two action or two phase picking gun. You pull the trigger all the way down and it actually does two actions. And finally, we have the BPG-15. Now this one's almost identical to the BPG-10, but the action is actually in reverse. It, it hits downwards for locks kind of like this, like the U-Haul locks or any time the pins are on the bottom of it instead of being on the top. That's about the only difference. Everything else, it comes with the same parts, the same pins, the same wrench, the same instructions, and also the same warranty. It's just for a different purpose or different type of lock that you might be dealing with. Now the purpose or the type of locks you will use these guns on are kind of like the ones you see in the video as I'm talking. They are more the standard pins or occasionally have a spool in there. Nothing too crazy like serrated, but usually the pins are locks that are simple or not as complex as most master locks are and some of the random U-Haul locks or other ones you might find or any of the door locks. I've used it on a couple doors and they work just fine as well. Now for how to use these guns. It is very simple and it is very effective. First you add your tensioning wrench to the bottom of the keyway or top of the keyway depending on which tension wrench you have. You slide the needle of the gun to the back of the keyway. Now you don't push up on the keys yet you don't push up on the keys period you but you want to make sure the needle is level with the pins you don't be up too high or down too low you want to strike them all equally now that you have the needle level with the pins add a little bit of tension and pull the trigger back once if you're using the bpg 25 or the machine gun until it clicks once that way you can see how the pins respond to it then once you get a good feel for it, add a little bit more tension, a little less depending, and pull the trigger repeatedly until you feel the pins either unlock or it isn't working. If it isn't working, reset the pins, add a little bit more tension or a little bit less, it varies, and try again. This time, pull the needle out just a little bit and try again, or angle it up or down just a hair. This will allow it to hit the pins a little bit differently but yet still in the same motion. Using this method, you should be able to unlock most locks, as you can see in the video. Well, this wraps up our video on the lockpick guns from lockpicks.com. We talked about the BPG-25, or the machine gun. We talked about the BPG-15 and 10. We talked about how they're made or how well they're made. We also talked about or what locks you would use them on, and also a rough about how you use them. If you want to know more information on how to use the lockpicks, please visit lockpicks.com or visit down below when I should have a PDF file showing you how to do just that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in one of these lockpick guns, please visit the links below or go to lockpicks.com. Thanks for watching and stay safe.